Hey guys, this is RD Techie, and we are doing a really cool, simple, quick Red Dead Redemption 2 tip. So I'll see you on the other side with some awesome stuff to do. Okay, so first tip is when you're buying ammo, do not use the gunsmith. Use your catalog because the reason i'm telling you is because you can for one thing it's easy enough to buy maximum you press and hold enter you get the option it'll cost a lot because it buys 999 of each ammo type but it goes straight to your locker and then you can go and collect it and it'll buy whatever uh, i mean it'll take only only as much as you need the rest will stay there the reason i tell you not to go to a gunsmith is if you go to a gunsmith you need two bullets or five bullets you buy a pack of 20 you're throwing away you won't get the rest 15 it's a waste and this is there's a twofold reason for this one is that the other is if you go and uh, look at the awards section in under trade there's a section for there's two sections that i like to specialize on one is spending money that's easy enough to do in reddit the other is if you go to the trade or uh, trade section you have collect thousand items from your a lockbox so this helps imagine if you're buying uh 200 bullets easy enough you're gonna max out that thousand in no time and it's a resettable award which means you get gold every time you reset the award and send it back to zero so it's something you need to do and i i suggest you do it no matter what uh, you can at times get it from the post office if you want, but I always use the lockbox because I go to the camp anyways. And I just, it's a quick way to refill your ammo. You only take what's needed and you just change it up every now and get, uh, now and again and, uh, refill it. So it, it is costly the first time. It'll cost you around a hundred dollars, I think. I don't remember right now. It might be around two hundred. Uh, it, it is fairly costly, but it's, it's well worth it on the long, in the long run. So the next tip is actually uh, something that's very important for daily challenges and very e makes it very easy for you to do. Most daily challenges will have a trader role section. Once you level up to about your max trader level 20, you'll get these daily challenges saying 20 in 10 minutes. That is insane. You can only get a max of six heavy or 10 medium carcasses in your hunting wagon. So that's, that's not going to be easy, but it is. What you do is you shoot down those little birds shoot down any little birds you find to uh or kill any small rodents rats work uh frogs bullfrogs uh toads doesn't matter they work these things you could the good thing is you can go them go them kick them uh, uh and put them in your satchel and it stays in your satchel so if even if it's not the daily you see a couple of small birds flying down uh, flying around shoot them down I found the small wax wings and small birds across that Bard's Crossing area as well as New Hanover in general and Lemoyne is great. The Blue Water Marsh in particular is great for the horses. Now if you want to, sometimes there's a daily like break down the frog, the simple or break down an animal meat or small animal. All you got to do is go hover over it and press and hold enter and i'll break it down to reptilian or whatever meat that is uh so reptilian meat i think it's called so if it's a bird it'll break if it's a fish it'll go to succulent or flaky uh it's just something you can uh do but i don't recommend doing it unless there's a daily because i like keeping these small things in my pocket that came out very wrong but you know what i mean it it, it is quite useful now the third tip is something I didn't know at all till recently when I found out by accident. There is a Wheeler Rawson website. So if you go to the Wheeler Rawson website, it opens up the catalog. So when you're doing a moonshiner, the best way to do it is you just go to the foods section and you have all these canned things and canned items. You shorten it with the filter. You go up and choose dry food or canned foods and it'll drop down to just the canned stuff. And this is very, very useful because baked beans and all that is grateful for, you know, it's great for health. And uh, these things like canned apricots, peaches, pineapples, you need for moonshine recipes. You cannot buy this in bulk from the catalog in game but if you click on the quick buy option and i apologize for the menu not loading up correctly but it's you know rockstar you press the arrows it'll 
go, let you go up to a maximum of 99 in your locker. So if you have more than 99, uh, if you have like 27, it'll probably go let you go up to, you know, 72, whatever. You know, it, I, I'm so proud I did that math. I am awesome. Uh, so that that's basically it. You know, you, you get it. And as soon as you buy it, it's instant credit into your lockbox so it's also something another thing you can collect from your lockbox and um you know get the uh counter go up to a thousand hopefully they'll add a lockbox you can buy and keep at your moonshine shack very soon that will make this so much better so much easier but this catalog is an amazing thing to use this website and I recommend it thoroughly because you can not just you cannot you can buy canned stuff. You can also buy fresh fruits. Like some recipes give you. Um, this website is great because you can, that's not canned food. You can go and buy tonics. You can buy chocolate bars. You can buy snake oil. You can buy chewing tobacco you can buy miracle tonic and you can stash them in your box so you never run out of them again it's an expensive thing you're going to spend a lot of money doing this but it, in the long run it'll help you now if you go back you can even buy some more fruits because you do need them for uh i know apple you need for a uh, moonshiner recipe for the cobbler you can do that easy peasy no problem you set it set it up you do it and raspberry you can uh is easy enough to find so you don't need to if you, especially if you're in new hannah where raspberry is everywhere but apples you buy as much as you can and it tops off at around 99 at 99 not around you buy it it is directly set and you can collect it from your uh, lockbox you also have carrots for your horse and if you want to go and get clothing it's possible. I prefer to buy clothing this way because the clothing, the tailor, the mirror is, to, for me, not the best way to see the backside. Whereas if you go and pick something up in here, you just press these bottom circles and it's, it shows you both sides very clearly without any sort of mirror filter or bad lighting. You will be able to see it very clearly and you can buy it. And yes, it gets added to your wardrobe instantly. It is a fantastic way to shop in Red Dead. And I hope you all use this website. You just search for Wheeler Rawson on Google. I'm sure you'll come up. It's in the social club section. There's a whole link in there. Uh, but yeah, it's, I will link it in the video description below and I hope you use it. It saved me so much time. Now, if you want to buy horses, Again, you can do that. It's fairly easy. Uh, you click any breed you want. You don't get this option in the in-game catalog. If you click on a breed and a um, coat, it will show you that horse. This does not happen in the in-game uh, catalog, but you don't need to go to a stable to buy a horse. Now, I don't get a chance to buy a horse because uh, my stables are full. And guess what? I could click view stable buy myself a new stall and buy a horse it's everything you can do as far as buying goes in the game you can do it here it's a really cool way to do it and uh it certainly helps and this is it for the tips video for red dead online these are tips i didn't see uh given anywhere else it may be present maybe not if you have some tips that you think would be helpful for the community leave them in the uh, comments and i will leave the link to my twitch in the comments as well if you want to see me be a complete ass and uh you know fail at this game please drop by and uh, i will catch you all on the other side i hope you all have a fantastic day see you later